Welcome everyone. Today we have a very special video. If you look behind me, we have Genshin Impact. And yes, guys, this is a special coming back video to talk about how I'm planning to come back to Genshin Impact in this Zone Zero and also Hankai Star Rail. And in this video, there's a lot I want to cover and also a lot I want to share with you guys. But I try to keep the video short. And over here, you can see our classic summary with a notepad. So yes, I want to talk about what happened to me in the past few years, what I have been doing, and also my plans to play more gacha games in the future. And also the games I have covered in the past, like Diablo 4, Last Epoch, and also Path of Exile, I will be continuing to cover those as the day's expansions and also new seasons become available. So very excited to share those. The first thing is, yes, I am coming back to Genshin Impact, guys, and I have not played the game much since a few years ago. So there is a lot of loot to be looked around. Oh boy, <laughs> there's definitely a lot of things we can go through. And I do plan to make a comeback video, which showcase you guys how to come back to Genshin Impact. <laughs> I guess, oh boy, the new banners, the characters, there's a lot I can learn. And look how much Primal Gems I had saved up before I stopped playing. I know I had some viewers who has talked about, you know, they have stopped playing for a while and they don't know how to come back to the game and they're not sure where they're doing and what to do with the game. So I'll be looking forward to make some videos related to coming back to Genshin Impact, how it feels and how to play the game more free to play and also what are the, you know, guides and some tips for Genshin Impact. So coming back to my notes, and in case you guys haven't been following the channel and also my previous games and also coverage, I have had two YouTube channels. And if you look at the previous YouTube channel, I have played quite a bit of Hankai Star Rail in the past year. And because Diablo came out and I was a big fan of action RPG, I started to play a lot of Diablo, a lot of Last Epoch, a lot of Path of Exile. So those are some of the things I was partaking during the time I was not making Genshin Impact and also gacha videos. We have had a lot of viewers saying, hey Matt, why are you coming back to Genshin? And why are you coming back to Hunker Star Rail? I have been thinking and also thinking of coming back. And this is a really good time to come back simply because Sinless Zone Zero is going to be launching very soon. I, I am very excited to play the game because it has the Genshin Impact feels and, you know, it's pretty much the same launch date as Genshin Impact a few years ago. I have prepared a lot of notes for Zinless Zone Zero, which we'll briefly talk about on the second part of the video, including some of the pre-registration events and also how you can get some free loot, which I'll cover more details on the next video. So coming over to the second part, what is my plan with all the gacha games? Well, I love the MiHoYu games, and now they call Miho Universe, right? Hoyuverse? <laughs> so yes, so I love those games, and it will take me some time to go through the Genshin Impact catch-up videos, because I have not played the game for a few years, and there's a lot of cinematic that is not scapable. <laughs> and yes, I'll slowly go through those, and I'll make up the videos to share with you guys. And, oh, Venti's talking, <laughs> I missed that. So during the meantime, I think I will focus on the coverage of ZZZ because that will be launching in about two weeks time. And you'll be seeing a lot of guides, a lot of related notes. Notice here we have gacha rates, we have guarantee systems, we have different ways of rerolling, the refund system, duplication of characters. I have prepared a lot of notes for us to learn and also have the best experience playing Seamless Zoom Zero, <laughs> the name's super long. And there's a lot of preparation to reroll the game, to play the game, free to play, or what are the best things you can get if you spend in the game. So there's a lot of things I want to cover with you guys, even the details of the summons, re-summons, we'll go through that in the future videos. Now my current plan is I'll start the coverage of the new launch of ZZZ and coming back to Genshin Impact while I have some time to cover the storylines and also to catch up to patch 4.7. And in the future, I will be coming back to Hankai Star Rail as well. So notice previously, I have had a lot of videos about Hankai Star Rail. We'll also go back to the other game. So yes, we do have tons of coverage and I'm quite excited to be coming back to Gacha Games. Now, if you guys have been following me for action RPG games, I will be covering the new character expansion on Diablo 4 in the future and also potential expansions for Last Epoch and also Path of Exile 2 for sure. So there's going to be a mix of gacha games and also action RPG games. And I'm very excited to be back and I just want to make the video to share with you guys. 
Now you might have noticed my voice is not great. So here is something to share about me with you guys. In the past two weeks, I have gotten some really, really bad flu to the point I can't even talk for the past week. And during the time I was writing and also collecting a lot of different notes for you guys for the game sound to be covering on. And finally, my voice is good enough to make some videos. And hopefully this is the case for the future because you know me, I make a lot of videos when I get excited. So I'll be taking more rest, taking more recovery coming from my flu. And yeah, so I thought I'd make this video to update you guys what's happening. And very excited to be get back to Genshin Impact and also for the future of ZZZ. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about those games? Are you excited to try those? And what are your thoughts about playing gacha games versus action RPG games? And I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh boy, brings back memories, right? This is our usual setup, which we had the notepad and also the notes. And in the future, guys, we'll have a better setup with Word document, with images, and with more clear text throughout the videos and also links for different guides I'll be sharing with you guys.